Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Drive Our Reviews and today we're looking at the Alienware Alpha and bringing it from your media center from being your gaming PC to becoming a desktop gaming PC to be on your desk. Is it possible? Can you do it? Yes you can. But you're gonna need a couple things because as you might have noticed, if you have one of these guys, on the back here you don't have the standard screen outputs like VGA or DVI and you also don't have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So what do we do? Simple. Let's dive right into it and take a look at how you can convert your Alienware Alpha. All right, now to get this completely usable as a desktop and with different types of screen and audio equipments besides HDMI output only, which is what the Alienware Alpha comes with, right? HDMI out and HDMI in. You're gonna need some items and I'll include all these items down in the description below, links directly to them if you wanna do this yourself. Number one though is you need to be able to see the screen, obviously. So if you don't have an HDMI screen, instead I have this HP W2207, you're gonna need an adapter. And one of the best adapters out there right now is the Blue Rigger High Speed HDMI to DVI cable adapter. And it comes at different lengths. I didn't need a very long adapter, so I got the shortest one at three feet. But as you can see, it's pretty substantial cord here. It's not gonna get damaged and it works phenomenally well. There are out there some cheap, cheap options and I highly recommend you do not cheap out on this because this is only a couple bucks, under $10 even for over six feet. So this is something that you really shouldn't shortchange on if you want some quality connection between your computer and your monitor. Now it's pretty simple to use. The DVI side just plugs right in. The HDMI side just plugs right in. to The HDMI out plug on the back of your Alienware Alpha. And once you get that in, you're in business. Now next up you're going to have audio issues because the Alienware Alpha is basically set up for the audio to come straight out of the HDMI into your media system. So since I converted this into DVI and since my screen does not have speakers on it itself, I want the classic 3.5 millimeter set to go with my 5.1 system, right? Well, we're going to need another adapter for that. And right here, this is another thing you don't necessarily want to cheap out on. And again, it's still under 10 bucks. The Sabrent USB 3.5 millimeter stereo audio jack splitter adapter. And the cool thing about this is it comes with both speaker and headphone support. So you plug this into any USB port and you're in business. Now those are the main essentials you're gonna need for video and audio. And once you get this set up with this guy, you're good to go. But I like to put on the extra piece because I do a lot of transference of files from cameras and phones and things like that. And the 3.0 ports on the back of this are very nice, except for the fact that you don't have very many USB ports on the Alienware Alpha. One, two, three, four. It's not enough for people like me. <laughs> Maybe it's not enough for you. And so I bought the third item, which I think completes the desktop package. And in fact, these are actually quite valuable, even if you're still using it as a gaming PC in your main media center with the HDMI output. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the Ugreen USB 3.0 hub. It comes with three 3.0 USB ports, along with an SD and a TF card reader, and it goes at high speed. Fast speed is somewhat relative these days, so it's up to five gigabytes per second, which is that 3.0 stat. And it's also backwards compatible, as you would hopefully expect for most technology these days worth its salt, going back to 2.0 and USB 1.1 as well. Now what I love about this is it can convert that back 3.0 USB port into three separate ports, and at the same time, you can upload anything from your camera SD cards right in the back here, and that's what I love. So that's my full setup, and that's how I do it. I take the computer, I take the alpha and I throw this guy in the back. Here's the power cable. Here's the HDMI cable. Here's the USB to audio adapter. Just put the audio 3.5 millimeter in there. And I can even plug this in to the splitter and it works fine. And then you have one of the most lightweight and portable desktop PCs now, desktop gaming PCs that you've ever seen. <laughs> and there you have it guys, for under 25 bucks or so, you've got the complete setup to modify this or any other computer that has similar limitations. And also you come with a nice, awesome, high-speed card reader and USB splitter, which I think is actually always usable for almost anyone at this point in time. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, tell me what you think about this, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you next time on Drive-By Reviews.